Hey guys, it's Mr. McHugh. I want to give you a really short tutorial on using Desmos to evaluate trig functions because I'm not going to be there in class. You'll be in the cafeteria working on this. So on the green sheet, you've got to evaluate some trig functions. So in Desmos up here, let's say you've got to evaluate the sine function. You can just type in sine. If you want to do parentheses, you can do parentheses. And you can even type in the, the number pi. Do you see how I did that? I just typed in pi and it automatically turned it to pi. And the answer is zero. Desmos gives you, or yeah, Desmos gives you the answer. You can see it there. Now, um, if you need to change from radians to degrees, come over and click on the wrench and you'll see at the bottom radian in degree mode. If I click to degrees, my answer for the sine of pi changes. If I'm in radians, the answer is zero. If I'm in degrees, the answer is 0 0.0548, so on and so forth. So that's how you do radians and degrees in Desmos if you don't have your calculator.